Hey, what's up, YouTube? Ty1822. I want to introduce everybody to the show. Shut your dumb ass up. Shut your dumb ass up. It's the show where people say outrageous things from the sports world, the music world, Hollywood, even people from YouTube. Because you saw me get it before. So, I want to welcome everybody to Shut Your Dumb Ass Up. This episode will feature rap star Lil Wayne. Now, we all know last Sunday, the Dallas Mavericks beat the Miami Heats in the NBA Finals. But, they at a, at a club, you know, the Dallas Mavericks celebrating. So, they catch Lil Wayne on some pictures. Him and Baby with the NBA trophy. You know, hang with Mark Cuban and Dirk Nowitzki. So, on, so, when they got uh, on the interview, they said, Lil Wayne, if you are a so-called Heat fan, why are you hanging with the Dallas Mavericks and celebrating after they beating your team? This is what he said. Well, you know, they ain't, they ain't busy the boy in prison. You know, LeBron, you know, LeBron, you know, you know I thought he was cool, man, but uh, they ain't busy the boy in prison when I was locked up. So, you know, I was cool with the Dallas Mavericks, you know, you know beating them my mind the Heat. Are you kidding me? Little Wayne, you know what? You ain't mad because the Wayne Wade and LeBron ain't visit you when you was in prison. You are just another Miami Heat bandwagon fan. And that's it, Little Wayne. Baby said, you know, baby lost $2 million on a bet. But all of a sudden, he with you two hang with the Mavericks. So, Little Wayne, you just prove and prove again. That you are a bandwagon. I remember this. Of course, you from New Orleans. You a Saints fan. But last year, all of a sudden, you was a Green Bay Packers fan. So, little boy, I want you to shut your dumb ass up. So, this all I got. But shut your dumb ass up. I see y'all next time on the next edition of Shut Your Dumb Ass Up. I am your host, Ty eighteen twenty two. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I out. Peace.